Okay, this is the fireplace yo-yo video. And when I say yo-yo is because this is a manufactured fireplace. Okay, it's not a brick fireplace. The house is 100 years old, but this fireplace is not. It was manufactured. And the reason why I'm going into that is because the manufacturer specifications supersedes code. Right? So, what we're looking at this fireplace right here, and here's our hearth extension. And that's our firebox floor, which is actually, the technical name is the hearth. The hearth extension should be at least 24 inches, and it is. And this is our key right here. So, we got a key, so we can turn some gas on here in a moment. That's a good thing. And I'll go into that. You know, it won't be on the video. The video is about this. We got a spark arrestor over here. Spark arresters are not required on the interior. A spark arresters are required where the chimney terminates, vents, but they're not required inside the living space. They're a good idea. I get that. So they're not required. Now, having said that, let me get up underneath here. And, okay, I cannot see. So I jump ahead of myself a little bit, but that's okay. It's the way I operate. I cannot see a track for a screen. If the manufacturer has said that a screen belongs here, then you know it would be deficient according to the manufacturer. Um, we got our data plate right here. I'll see if I can capture that for you. This is where the gas comes into the fireplace. This hole should be sealed, okay? But some manufacturers have a different idea about that. So this, this hole should be sealed, all right? This is a gas log fireplace, and that is, and that's what I was talking about. The manufacturer, as opposed to code, was about the screen being here and about this hole being sealed. Now, this is a gas fire... Well, hey, Tommy, how you doing? Doing great. How about you? Hey, Hi, man. Tommy. Hi. I'm Stella. I got finished in her thing. <laughs> so, I'm excited to be here. Good. All right. So, now, now, these gas logs, okay, they do not, they do not smoke, all right? but they will expel soot, all right? So if these logs are not lined up like they should be, like they were designed to be, you can, ex you can exhaust soot, all right? And then we come up in here, and this fireplace most likely did not come with these logs, all right? So the log manufacturer's instructions supersedes code, and the fireplace manufacturer supersedes code, and then they'll probably tell you in the code that the most stringent one applies. But there is our fireplace damper. And it closes 100%. Let's see if we can look up in there a little bit. It closes 100%. This might soot, but it doesn't make smoke. Okay, so carbon monoxide is odorless. You can't see it, it's invisible. And you should have some kind of a refractor or some kind of a block to keep that from closing 100%, basically making it, you know, foolproof, childproof, that kind of thing. If this is a regular fireplace, smoke would come in, it'd ruin your Picasso, but you'd be alive to collect the insurance on it. Well, you got a gas log here, you close this 100%. Sucks all the oxygen out of the house, expels the carbon monoxide in the house. Your Picasso will be great for your estate sale, but you'll just go to sleep. Everybody can go to sleep. That's like what happened to Weird Al Yankovic's parents. They just went to sleep. It took about two years to settle that, and um, because they were so heavily insured. But that's another story. I get carried away. But this is our fireplace. It does not close 100%. Now another thing: manufactured fireplace, manufactured specifications supersedes code. This fireplace most likely was designed to coexist, but this fireplace gets its oxygen that it needs to burn the same place you get your oxygen that you need to burn. You're in competition with this fireplace. So while you're using the fireplace, you should crack a window or something. Oh, but that kind of like ruins the romance. Well, yeah, but you will live to love again. You know, so you should crack a window or a door. We got some pretty good cracks on some doors already. Anyway, you should probably see on the wall video. So this house is not exactly that tight. Um, but you tighten it up is something to take into consideration, especially if you use this for a long time. Now, I know I said a lot. I warned you about moving the logs because it's it. But really, what have we got going on here? Um, this makes a report right there. We got the hole in the wall. Uh, we got the um, damper that closes 100%. Um, we get our oxygen from the living area. Um, 
And that's about it. We got a little bit of movement, a little bit of distortion on our heat refractor panels. Um, but that's pretty much typical, to be honest. I mean, I don't see a lot of abuse here. 